Yeah, okay, a few days late for this one. My apologies, was in London on a shoot. Got a new YouTube channel that I'm working with now, Jinx. Go check them out. Uh, Jinx Gaming TV. Go and subscribe now. I'm very proud to be part of that. Less about me, more about House of the Dragon. Um, little bit confused because here's one of the problems when you come to a show a few days late, right? Is that you, you do everything you can to kind of avoid spoilers and what the sound bites are doing on the internet. But, you know, unavoidably, I come across these headlines like John Campier. Shout out to him. One of the big guys out there. Love, much love for John Campier. But he puts out this title going, one of the greatest scenes ever in Game of Thrones history. And I'm like, okay, something cool is going to happen here. Nothing much happened in this episode. Now, that's not to say that this wasn't a good episode. Because, I, as I say every week, this is just peak goated TV. But the fact of the matter is, is that this was very much a setup episode. Now, one of the greatest scenes in Game of Thrones history doesn't need, it doesn't need to be a, you know, a red wedding. It, it doesn't need to be a viper in the mountain. We don't, doesn't have to be that, you know, it could be great for other reasons. And there was a lot of good in this episode, you know, things like that continuous one take shot they did through through the through the lower streets of uh, King's Landing. That was really, really beautifully done. Um, I thought that scene of uh, of uh, Shadow Moon or whatever the hell that dragon's called Moon Dancer Shadow Moon Moon Dancer coming down and trying to attack uh, attack Sir Bitch Boy. Uh, what's his name? Sir Kristen. That was cool. There wasn't anything here I saw that jumped out to me and said, Oh, one of the greatest scenes in Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon history. It's not. But what this episode did do is that off the back of the last two episodes, we're now in full setup mode. And what this episode drove home very clearly with a brilliant scene between Rhaenyra and Alicent. It's too late. War's coming. We are going to war now. Now... As an audience member, obviously we knew that was coming because you've got to think they're not just going to end it at season two of House of the Dragon, are they? There's going to be a few seasons of this if Game of Thrones was anything to go by. So good. <laughs> As a viewer, great. As a kind of fly on the wall in the world of Restoros looking in at these characters, bad stuff is going to happen now. Everything has been put really methodically into place now. There's not so much physical tension, but lots of political tension going off. It's almost a bit bit like a Cold War, isn't it? Like, who will strike first? And it's got little echoes of... Uh, echo. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? It's too topical. I'm not going to say those two countries. You can figure this out. Who did the wrong thing first? I'll say no more on that. Um, but yeah, there, there were connotations of that. So in terms of mirroring real-world political tension it's a hell of a good episode so Kristen's doing his thing Aemond is in the background Renera is doing her thing Alicent's doing her thing Otto Hightower is nowhere to be seen Solaris um, has worked his way into being Master of Whispers the first of many steps I called it on the last episode that guy is going to work his way into a position of serious power um, this was another great episode of TV I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But very, very much, not a filler, but a setup episode. It's got me intrigued to see what happens next. So roll on next week. I can't wait for another episode of this. I'm almost sad. That, well, not almost. I am sad that it's only eight episodes long. It sucks. <laughs> I want more of this goodness. Um, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Did you like this recent episode? Did well, What did I miss with, with all of this whole... Oh, it's greatest one of the greatest scenes ever did did i miss something like let me know down below um but otherwise there's another video for you to watch right there no there even a subscribe button over here which you should definitely do if you're a fan of movies bringing you content as often as i can listen i'm a father of two kids but i do what i can right um so yeah thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching guys be sure to like the video and i'll see you very soon probably actually later today with a with a review of the acolyte so Look, look out for that and I'll catch you soon.